Hi there. <laughs> How's it going? This is Bonnie Violet. I'm sure you can tell that already, but um, I wanted to get on and on live and um, also just like make a video um, kind of updating people on some changes with me. Um, so the obvious is, yeah, I'm platinum. I changed my hair color to platinum. Uh, now the other thing, um, half of my face, I woke up well, a couple of days ago, yesterday, my face paralyzed from the top of my head down to my um, my chin. And uh, I went to the ER and they said it's uh, Bell's palsy. So um, that's why I'm wearing like this patch over my eye. I was out of it today and got it all irritated because the eye doesn't close <laughs> um, uh, on its own. So I have to tape it shut and cover it up. Anyway, that's like not all of the gory details that I wanted to tell you, but um, I'm gonna be on camera a lot, um, you know, in the next few days, I'm doing a wedding, I'm hosting a bunch of events, and this is going to be just um, <laughs> part of it. And so I wanted to um, uh, just get on there and say like, um, I actually, I actually am fine. Um, uh, I, um, yeah, like they figure I, they, um, it's pretty severe because of how much in my face that it is. Um, but I did go in really early, thanks to the encouragement of good friends, Tony and uh, Lauren and uh, Todd and Miguel. And um, I went ahead and went to the ER yesterday, even though I didn't want to. Um, and they said, um, they're glad they caught it early because it could be permanent. They're like, they're thinking that it probably won't be permanent, um, probably just a few weeks and then it'll go away. They um, put me on some steroids um, and some, a pretty strong, like, antiviral, um, to, um, you know, um, hopefully clear up the virus and then, um, uh, you know, and then it, it should clear up in, like, two to four weeks. Um, so it's, it's nothing really, like, that serious in the sense of I'm not in any pain. Um, like I said, it's probably just gonna go away. It definitely was scary. It's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely something new for me to um, to get used to for a little while um, as um, I'm on camera and stuff. And so I know I'm going to be very self-conscious about it. And so I just, I don't know, I kind of felt like I feel better if I just kind of put it out there in the world a little bit. And I had gotten some messages from some people and stuff. And so I just thought I would try to do my best to get it out there a little bit. Um, again, just so people can kind of know what's up. Um, just while I'm on here, um, I mentioned there's a lot of things that um, uh, I'm blessed to have a lot of work. Um, you know, Pride Month for a lot of us queer folks who are quote unquote gay for pay, so to speak, in the sense that um, we are able to use our ide identities um, to also um, get some work done, I guess. Um, you know, Pride Month is a busy month for many of us and myself included. So. I'm really excited. I'm going to be preaching for the first time as like the head preacher at a church um, here in Oakland, which I'm really nervous, but excited about, you know, I've never done anything like that. I'm not, you know, I didn't go to seminary, um, but I think it's a really cool opportunity. And I do think it's, you know, I do think it's uh, a space that I'm meant to be in. And so I'm really excited uh, to get to lean into the challenge to do it. Even if half of my face, half of my face is paralyzed. Um, and yes, uh, Tony says, don't be self-conscious. Once in a lifetime to wear a patch, embrace the accessory. Now I've totally been, um, you know, I was looking up on uh, line today for eye patches <laughs> um, to see if I could get something cool. Um, you know, at a minimum, I'm sure I will, um, you know, glitter it or stone it or whatever I need to do to, to make it work <laughs> with the look or just for me to feel more comfortable with it. Um, but, you know, this is just temporary for me. I know um, some people, you know, this is what they get to deal with for forever. So I feel very fortunate that this is something that will probably clear up. Well, that will clear up, you know. Um, and uh, I'm just going to try to make the best of it uh, that I can. Um, and again, it's, it's not that major. Um, I'm also getting to do um, a Dragon Spirituality Forum in Chicago. Um, you know, I'm still doing the weekly uh, podcast, uh, the recovery podcast with at the CCC. 
um, every Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm um, getting ready to do this new series, um, a Dragon Spirituality series. It kicks off with a big conversation, but I'm going to have 12 um, other conversations uh, with 12 other artists from all over the U.S. and Canada and potentially the U.K. I'm still booking all those um, artists and getting things put together. Um, so uh, I didn't mean for this to be like a big plug or whatever, but um, it's kind of the people on my Facebook are a mix of family and friends. Everyone, of course, that I love, um, but many folks are interested in the things that I'm doing and participating. And so um, you can always go to aqueerchaplain.org um, if you want to um, see what's going on. I'm sure you get more than you'd like <laughs> um, through my Facebook posts and uh, instant message uh, or I, Instagram or YouTube or Twitch or wherever uh, you uh, follow me or connect with me. So. Um, like I said, I just wanted to get on on here, let you know there's nothing to worry about if you start to see pictures of me or um, video and you're like, what is going on with her face? <laughs> um, so um, again, it's no big deal. It's nothing major. Should go away in a few weeks. Um, and uh, I'm really grateful that it's not anything serious. And, um, you know, it's just a minor, a minor annoyance maybe. Um, and, uh, you know, something I, I'm just gonna do my best to learn from and just keep doing what I do. Um, so much love to you too, um, Emily. Uh, thanks for sending that and hi, Elizabeth, I love you too. Thanks for all the hearts and the, the little care emojis. Um, uh, it really means a lot to me. Um, uh, yeah, yesterday I was scared. Yesterday I was freaking out. Yesterday I was like, oh no, it's time. <laughs> You know, 24 years with HIV, recovered drug addict. You know, I've had a lot of health issues in the past. So um, it's really common for me to get like really freaked out when I have to go to an ER or um, that sort of thing. And so I'm really glad that I was uh, able to be pushed to go by my friends and um, that it ended up being something very minor. Um, so, um, yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that. Just wanted to take a moment uh, to to just get this out there, I guess. <laughs> I'll get it off my chest. Um, and so you might see me with the patch on, but you also might see me with it just off. Um, just my eye doesn't close on its own. And so I think it kind of, I don't know, it was a little freaky, um, but maybe not. <laughs> um, but also like I can get things into it. And so that after a while, it kind of gets a little irritated. So I'll be probably figuring that out bit by bit. Um, over the next few weeks. If you have some ideas, <laughs> um, hit me up, let me know. Um, but um, I'll probably be doing, uh, you know, you know what I do um, on shit. <laughs> um, so uh, take care. I love you all. Um, not belabor this anymore, um, but have a great evening. And I look forward to seeing you uh, through my one eye <laughs> at some point over the next uh, four to six weeks or so. Um, and if you didn't hear, I'm moving to Idaho, um, July 1st. So if you're in Idaho, be sure to reach out to me. All right. I love you and, uh, take care. Bye-bye.